is anybody connecting the dots between what happened one year ago with BP oil and now in Japan? There seems to be some very similar things going on, like government saying, nothing to fear. <laughs> There's no poison there and nothing will kill you. <laughs> if you can't see it, it ain't going to do anything harmful to you. I'm seeing, you know, some uh, some other groups saying that this was an attack on, on Japan because they didn't want to go with the New World Order. The New World Order is really, really tricky to understand. And it really seems like Japan is in there like a dirty shirt. Seems like Japan is doing this to its own people. The government is doing this to its own people. They're not evacuating anybody. You know, they're 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 raising the safety level of plutonium, saying that it ain't going to kill you. There's some reporters that are saying it's actually good for you, just like everything else that's cu killing human life. You got a media, you got a government that's actually designing laws that are saying. It ain't going to kill you. <laughs> so I, I'm starting to see that uh, Japan's government is actually doing this to its own people. Exactly like the American government is did BP oil to its own people. There is a, a really good uh, website. I'll put this guy's channel, Dutch Sense. Um, he's also put a connection together that once you put some of these chemicals into the air, it transforms itself. It, it morphs into something completely different. And what he's found out is these chemicals that are getting released in the air, actually, and barium, there's another chemical there he'll, he'll let you know, but all of that is found in chemtrails. It seems like they're trying to block something out from the sun like put a, a barrier between the planet and the sun. I have I have no clue what that's all about, but um, it seems like the shit that's in the air, these chemtrails are actually creating a hell of a lot of illnesses. They all seem to want to wipe out most of the po population. They're giving zero, zero health care, which it is possible. <clears throat> I have no idea why I've been given the information I have, why I've had this intuition my whole entire life. Some people are saying that they see visions, they see things. Well, I see a few things too. And a lot of things that other people are seeing ain't the same picture as me. And I've kind of noticed that the people that, you know, are getting these visions, you know, they're talking with God and know Jesus, you know, and, and they can predict what's going to happen in the future. They all are looking at life and their images and their perceptions from a source of fear. And evil seems to work through fear. It, it, it's like as long as we can keep you in fear, you're a perfect little robot to do exactly what evil wants you to do. I look at things from a loving perspective. I look at things, you know, true problem solving is, okay, what's good about this? How can we transform this into something even better? And when you look at it from a totally different perspective, you actually get different answers. So ironically, um, in order to explain the visions that I see, I needed scientific proof because it's like, I, I can say I'm a fortune teller. A lot of people are believing in fortune tellers, but I don't play that game because it's like, what the hell is a fortune teller? You know, it's just... Hey, believe me, because I'm saying I'm a fortune teller. I could be a channeler. I can pretend and, and be that little game. But it's like, why would I... You know, it's almost like as long as it's really hard to believe, as long as it's completely different and it's making some common sense, then you tend to believe something that's really, really wild. But what is the... You know, religion is another one. As long as I can have a book that says you just need to believe this and you're going to be saved, perfect little program that for you. But you're all looking at it from a source of fear that something's got to save you. And it's like, you're an aspect of God. <laughs> you know, like, so it's, 
story, I've had a really, really strong connection with God. God has the answers to everything. God can show you how to solve every freaking problem. God also says you got to save yourself. So how do we save ourselves while, while we speak in the language of science? Because we ultimately need scientific proof. So that's why the things that I've seen, I'm not going to be a fortune teller. I'm not going to be a channeler. You know, how I ain't even going to be a, a, a scientist. You know, I'm going to be just an average Joe, a mom that happens to be concerned about the world my children live in. And, uh, but if we know science is the language we communicate in, because really, ultimately, that is how we perceive our world is through our sciences, how do you explain it? So that's why I was on a search to find the science that proves what I've done. I didn't go out looking for science to teach me something, it was the opposite way around. And and using this model concept is how I ended up attracting it. It's like, okay, God, you know, show me the sciences I need to show the world what it is that I see. And poof, it showed up like magic. All solutions show up like magic. You just gotta ask for it. Be peaceful, loving, and know it will show up and be able to recognize when it does show up. Half the time when you ask for shit, it's there in front of your nose, but you can't see it because you keep saying it ain't there, it ain't there, it ain't there. It's right in front of you. You know, your answer is your hand, you know, and you keep saying, no, it's not there. There's never any answers. No, you know, so it's right there in front of you. But your perception, because the solution is something you can't see, you can't comprehend the solution, you won't be able to see it because it's like, I don't know what a hand is. I don't know what a solution is. You know, it's right there, but I can't see it. It is that simple. You gotta kind of be open to something completely different to be able to see something completely different. So, uh, regardless, ironically, this science that I found, it is called Holodynamics. My whole friggin' channel is trying to introduce this science. This guy um, worked in. Uh, um, Russia when they were trying to transform it from a war mentality to a peace mentality. He had access to all levels of government. Naturally there were some people that were against what he was doing and uh, poisoned him with high grade uranium. That kills people. Especially if it's injected inside you. But he cured himself. Um, the science is not perfect. There is some contradictions. Just because I have read every friggin' self-help book out there because I was told I was the problem all my entire life because I perceived the world differently. I perceived the world from a loving perspective at all times while I was always living in an abusive experience. So it's like my whole life was, okay, I am this loving being and I'm surrounded by all evil <laughs> my whole entire life. So it's like, how do you communicate with evil? How do you understand evil? Because they were all out to get me, it seems. So um, my whole life experience was trying to understand this game that's being played out. And by reading all of these self-help books, because it's like, okay, I am the problem. I'll learn as much as I can to solve my problem. But every single freaking book showed me that, no, you were the problem, not me. I ain't doing anything wrong. But I found that, yeah, but I followed the advice just to see if it worked. Always turned out, never ever worked. Because there were contradictions in things. And uh, so it, it, I am now hypersensitive um, to a lot of things. And that is one of the biggest sins on the planet because, you know, as soon as you're sensitive, people say, toughen up. And it's like, why would I want to be toughen up? If I toughen up, then I would fall into the trap of doing everything wrong. As long as I'm sensitive, I can sense where there's something wrong. <laughs> you know, as long as I'm sensitive to negative energy, I can feel negative energy real fast. Faster than somebody that's strong, too, so strong, they can't sense it. So, um, 
I, I am hypersensitive to a contradiction that if I read your shit, just because I've read a lot of shit, I can see, well, yeah, this works, but this is kind of contradicting that. So, anyways, the science of holodynamics definitely has some flaws, but it claims to be a tool that can solve every problem known to the human experience. The one flaw it has with it, one flaw, is that it can't uh, identify the unknown problem which ultimately your problems are from you and you put yourself in a power position when you know that okay that you know the government you know evils doing something to you you're out of control you have no power over that you're gonna need a Jesus you're gonna need a God you're gonna need an alien to come save you because you are just this weak little being that you know evil is doing something to you the hardest pill is you have to say yeah it is coming from me and that's um, so the abuse that was attracted into my life I attracted it and I've known I knew since the age of three that uh, um, this whole abuse experience was needed um, it was like me being in university that I wanted to understand the meaning of life I wanted to find the solutions to life so the only way you're going to understand it is if you live it. If you can really, really understand the problem, you have to kind of be in the problem. So, and be in the problem and be able to pull yourself out of the problem. If you can pull yourself out of the problem, then you really find the meaning of life. You really find what's going on. But the hardest pill was is I had to see it was coming for me. I couldn't jump out of the problem until I seen what I could do to jump out of it. It's putting yourself in a power position. So, getting back to this holodynamics, um, this guy knows how to heal from all of this toxic poison. He did it himself. Um, he does show you he has been healing heart problem, but this poisoning ended up creating a heart problem for him. He had to kind of have an artificial heart to you know there's one contradiction right there is how can you cure every illness known to man except for your own heart the only solution he had for his heart is a pacemaker he needs something <laughs> um, fake to make his heart beat because he's lacking love love for the guy that tried to kill him so there's his contradiction if he actually knew what unconditional love was like his book teaches um, then he'd be able to heal his heart and he'd actually be out there trying to save the planet. Um, he's got some warped uh, beliefs with money which is when I tried talking to him he tried to transform my beliefs with money into his beliefs with money even though that even went against his um, beliefs. His whole book is um, when you're trying to transform somebody you can't influence them to have your personal belief otherwise all you're doing is programming somebody to have your beliefs and you're not transforming them into their own solution so um, he would only basically when you're doing a tracking you focus on what the person's problem what they feel is a problem to them and not what you see is a problem for them so that's what this guy was doing all the time I, I had a, any conversation with him is as soon as I was saying something that was real logical he wanted to change my mind and it's like I ain't got a problem with it you're the one that has a problem if you have the problem that's your unknown problem <laughs> transform your own unknown problem so forgive him for he knows not what he's doing he hasn't recognized his own unknown problem but he can provide an awful lot of answers to a lot of this stuff with love which I would say anybody that wants any solution to this toxic waste problem to the governments that are not giving a shit about people go visit this guy's website and 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 get rid of your fears about uh, you know new age shit because I don't even know what the hell new age is supposed to mean but this is not new age it's pure pure science it's pure medical help on um, cure the cause you cure the illness and we need to get rid of the causes the cause is evil how do you transform evil into goodness but when you understand that you can see how you can heal yourself 
So I would give this this guy some love, <laughs> not hate. And uh, this guy needs to start doing some work to help everybody. Peace out.